This will be Mr. Antonopoulos' first day out. You do understand, don't you, that even if you are made his legal guardian, it will still be up to me as head of this hospital to authorize his release in your charge. Let's say that today will be more than just a excursion. It will be a test. And I will be watching the results with a great deal of interest. Remember now, Mr. Antonopoulos has been very ill. Enjoy yourself. Have a good time. But don't overdo. And remember, have him back by 6 o'clock. 6 o'clock. Will there be anything else? Thank you.
Miss? Yes, ma'am. I'll be with you in just a second, okay? Uh, that's 59 cents, and then um, the envelopes are... Good night, Miss. Good night, Harry. Doc Wilson came back in. Seems there's some very bad news about the Thomas case. I, I don't understand at all what he said about my hip, but it seems like I may never have the full use of it back again. Oh, Pop, I'm sorry. I know, baby. Anyway, from uh, what Doc Wilson said to us, we can't figure on your papa just being laid up temporarily. From now on, anything he earns will just be found money. Mama! A fact's a fact. I can't change that. Anyway, Mick, your mama and I have been figuring things. And we've been going over it, going over it. And the long and short of it is we got to do something. Like what? Well, we thought you could uh, keep working down to the five and dime and go to school nights. Just for this next year. Oh, Pop, I can't quit school. I just can't. Now, you won't be quitting. You'll just be going nights. Oh, I've seen kids do that. Pretty soon they don't go nights either. Margaret, maybe there's some way we haven't oh, figured what? it. The only other way is for me to get a job, and we could still have to stay home to look after you and the boys. No, this is the only way. But, Mama, I want to make something of myself, Mama. I got this feeling inside me like I was destined for something. We all have that feeling when we are young. It will pass. Margaret, don't. Well, I know it won't be easy, but without a high school diploma, what chance have I got? The same chance I had. You'll meet some fella and get married. If you're lucky, you'll love him. You'll have kids. That's what life is, Mick. That's all it is. You make it sound awful. No, it's not awful. But some of it is. And lying to her ain't gonna change that. Margaret, you let me speak to her alone. Now? Papa. Yeah, you look at me. Now, if you feel you just got to stay in school, why, we'll find a way. How? Don't you worry. You just trust your old papa, okay? Now, come on. Give me a kiss goodnight. <laughs> Promise me something, baby. Promise you won't get to hating me when you have to leave school. Oh, Papa. I couldn't hate you. Not for anything. Thank you, baby. I love you. And I love you, Papa. Good night. Good night. Please, don't blame me. I'm not trying to be cruel. I'm only doing the best I know how. I've got to think of what's best for everybody. Papa and Bubba and Ralph, as well as you. I understand. And uh, I know I don't show it very much, but... Well, I... I do love you, honey. Not...
Where's Willie? Down to the barber shop. I'm going down there. You may come with me if you like. What I don't understand is why my leg still hurt. I know it ain't there anymore. So what makes it hurt, Doc? Well, those are what we call phantom pains. The nerves haven't adjusted yet to the amputation. Now, the pain is really up here. It only feels like it's down in your leg. Thank you, Mr. Singer. Real nice of you. Thank you. I ain't read but one of them. You know, Doc, about them pains? Yes. You think it might be because I'm here and my leg is still someplace up at the prison hospital? Would it help any if we get it back? Don't know for a fact. It might. Then maybe Father would write them a nice little letter and ask them to send it here. Father would do anything for you, Willie. Oh, sure, please. Yes, sir. Father would do anything for you now. Now, when it's too late. Oh, sure. That ain't no way to talk to the doc. We got to live together now. Oh, yes. Just one big, happy family. You drive Willie home. What's the matter, Father? Am I embarrassing you in front of your friend? Oh, you don't have to feel he's so much better than you. After all, you're pretty white yourself. It's not her fault. She don't know what she's saying. She's half out of her mind with grief and hatred. Grief for Willie, hatred for me. I must show her where I stand. Make a formal protest against what was done. But I'm afraid. Afraid of what they'll do to me now. Isn't that funny? I'll be gone in a few months, and I'm afraid of a little punishment. But I must do it. see Judge Bronson. Have you got an appointment? No, but I don't mind waiting until he's free. Maybe if you told me about it. It's a personal matter. Family business. Well, suit yourself. Uncle. What's all this I hear about you taking piano lessons from my sister? Well, I want to learn. She can teach me. <laughs> you got to be kidding. I mean, she's the worst piano player I've ever heard. Even her teacher complained. <laughs> well, maybe so, but... Well, she can start me off and it won't cost much. You mean you're paying her? Hmm. Just my lunch money. You sure must love music. I guess. You ever see a concert hall? <laughs> sure, in Atlanta. What's it like? Mm, big, boring. You know. Yeah. You ever seen snow? <laughs> mm, lots of it. Tell me about it. <laughs> What's there to tell? It's cold and it's white. You've seen pictures of it, haven't you? Yeah. That's not the same thing as really seeing it. 
Sometimes I feel like that's what my whole life is like. Not really being anything. Just looking at a lot of pictures. It scares me. Do you ever get scared? Sometimes. This summer sure scared me. Well, everything happens so fast. Papa's hip not mending. And me not going back to school. I guess I'm all grown up now. That scares me most of all. Nick. I think, I think you're so pretty. I never used to think so, but, but now I do. Kiss me, Harry. Kiss me the way married people kiss. Do you think we should? Please. Let me have just one thing the way I want it to be. Oh, Father didn't get back yet, Mr. Singer. I thought he was with you. Me? Oh, I appreciate what you're trying to do, Mr. Singer, but it really is none of your concern. I said I don't want to hear it. I don't want to hear nothing you have to say about Father. I don't want to hear nothing. I don't want to read nothing either, Mr. Singer. Please, no! Listen here. Yeah? We've got to understand this. Do you? I don't know. I, I never did more than, than, than kiss a girl before this. Me neither. It's all my fault. Any way you look at it, it's my fault. It's, it's a terrible sin, and, you, and you're two years younger than me. No. 
I wanted it to happen. I wasn't any kid. And I wish I was. Do you think we ought to get married or something? No, I don't think I'll ever get married. Me neither. Well, I guess we better go home before it gets dark. Still waiting to see Judge Bronson. Judge went home an hour and a half ago. Thank you. No, I have to... No. Don't! Didn't anybody tell you? Wait here. I'll go get Dr. Gordon. He ought to be the one to tell you.
taught you these, Mr. Sainer. They're very pretty, too. Oh. Yeah, you're Dr. Copeland, aren't you? I remember you from the funeral. Yeah. You and me, Kelly. Uh, Margaret, really. Do you come here often? Almost every day now. Oh. I don't. Oh, I mean to, but... One thing comes along, then another. But I haven't forgotten. Honest, I haven't. Oh, I don't think any of us ever will. Why did he do it? I keep asking myself that over and over. Oh, I don't suppose any of us ever know that. None of us ever knew, not really. Brought her troubles to him, never stopping to think he may have troubles of his own. Mm. I feel worse than that about it. I feel like he was always there when I needed him. And when he needed somebody, I wasn't there. I wasn't even thinking about him. Well, I wish I could say something wise to help you. Never forget him. Ever. I think that would make him very happy. Well, I think I better be getting on home. Bye. Bye-bye. Walking. No, I want to stay around here for a while. I want to arrange these flowers better. you to know, Mr. Singer, that I loved you. I loved you. 